All right, tag team action right now, fans. The team of Jimmy Snooker and Ray Stevens, one of the most feared tag teams in the world in professional wrestling, along with their manager, of course, Gene Anderson, in against Frank Monty and Tony Tusi. And that is Monty and Stevens as we get underway with Tusi now and Snooker outside. David, and when we talk about uh, them being one of the feared tag teams in wrestling, it's why. because they are so wild. They, uh, these guys, and along with Anderson, they'll do anything. Not, I, I don't think there's anything beyond these two, and anything that they wouldn't do <laughs> to an opponent in the ring. I really have to agree with you on that because with the guidance of Mr. Anderson, they would do absolutely anything and everything to win. They are just tremendous athletes, outstanding wrestlers. Uh, former world tag team champions yes. and they could be uh, they could be world tag team champions if they got into the ring and and wrestled uh, just as scientifically as anybody could but they just will not do it that they, they way let their greed they greed get the best yeah, of them. and I tell you there's something built in them David they like to hurt their opponent they like to see him suffer and they want to punish him and put the hurt to him and I that's think what they get at. it from the third party outside <laughs> Mr. Anderson this is Tony Tusi right now with that headlock on Jimmy Snuka. Tony, a uh, young man to wrestling, but I think he's doing very well. As you can see there is Mr. Anderson over in the corner shouting instructions. Oh, what a All right, Stevens right there has gone with the choke. Had a front face lock, and he's got those hands under the throat and the choke and the knee lift. Yeah. Ray the Crippler, Ray the Crippler Stevens. You see why. Frank Monty now is in. Hard right hand to the jaw. Takes him, throws him across the ring. Drop kick. Well, Stevens hits him that hard. He just bounces when he hits that ring. Here's Monty. Hard slam. That was a power slam from way Goes back. Goes to the pin. Because he had him high into the air for that slam. Monty wisely catches. Jimmy Snook as he comes to the ropes, takes him with him into the corner. Well, David, that way when Snooker got into the ring, he really didn't have time to, to get his wits about him and to get any movement started because Monty was right there and right on top of him. Tony Tusi now continuing with the headlock. Anderson beating at Kane on the apron of the ring. Went into uh, the midsection. Snooker with that foot up. mentioned you're going to see Greg Valentine and Roddy Piper. Let me remind you also when you talk about tremendous wrestlers, let's don't forget the men you're going to see in our next match too. And that's Hussein the Arab the Iron Sheep. Oh yes. And he has got something that I hope all you fans get a chance to see those two men finish each other off. I'm talking about Hussein <laughs> the Arab and the co and Ivan Kolov. Yeah the Russian. Yeah, let's get that Iranian and that Russian at each other. Yes. Boy, I tell you, David, you can put them in a room and you lock the door, <laughs> and when you come back, there might not be anything there but a puff of smoke, and that's just I that's agree. just how these two feel about each yes. other. Yes. Ray Stevens caught him a short one into the stomach, flips him across into the ropes, backdrop. Boy, Monty went high out of the air, hit the mat hard from that backdrop. Stevens now goes right to the back. The knee into it. Now Snooker comes in. Let's see if he carries on. Yes. Picks him up. Backbreaker. Thought he was going to go for the slam, David. He had him. Now look at here. Again, it shows you the tremendous strength of this guy. He just held him there, raised him back up, and gave him three backbreakers in a row. And here